So we're going into the second move um, of the 18 form Guigong sequence. Um, it's simply a simple one called opening the chest and they get a bit more far out from there on. But we've added on to sort of like eight moves, which are based on the eight brocades with the Hypno Pilates yogic principles within them. Again, you can do this singly or in order, but basically this is the 26 form uh, with eight and then we just started the next one on the last one um, to the next 18 added on to the eight so that's 26 form just two forms together basically um, doesn't really matter you can do these singly or in order it's going to go straight in with the Pilates breathing so the Pilates breathing unlike the traditional form you breathe into the belly like a balloon which it massages all the internal organs um, and are linked to specific organs um, i.e. this one will open out the chest which all of us are compressed in the chest area to a degree through bearing gravity so anything that opens out the chest is good um, so as with all these within the traditional Qigong sequences they're believed to help certain meridians and organs specific meridians and organs this one will help the pericardium the heart line in the heart and the lungs, um, all being stretched for these meridians from the fingers right the way to the chest. Um, like I say, we're not gonna go into them in detail because that's more down the, the traditional Qigong principles. We're just taking the movements and just in a vinyasa way, breath synchronized movement, adding the yogic Pilates breath to that. Um, so we're gonna start with the breathing. Nature's rule, not mine, just to find our breath before we start. So what we're gonna do is zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, take the navel towards the spine, and we're gonna start with the uh, we can start with the Pilates breathing, breathing through the nose, and exhaling through pursed lips, as if you're sort of blowing out a candle or something like that. As you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, they go together, them two. Okay, pelvic floor corset, one we'll go without the other, but I'm doing it segmentally. We zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, and that will help us breathe anywhere but the belly button. Unlike the traditional form, we're going down the Pilates line or the Pilates path with this, which will help us breathe into these lower lobes of lungs. If you want to see that happening, you can get the two middle fingers touching underneath what we call the xiphoid process, the sternum, palms, and the lower lobes of lungs. And you'll see this sort of happening as you breathe in these two middle fingers slightly parting and coming back to touch each other, just adding width to the lungs and length to the out breath as you exhale through pursed lips. Lovely. So as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, feel that what we call lateral thoracic breathing. Come into these lower lobes of lungs, adding width to the lungs and length of the out breath. You can take them hands away if you've got them there now. Just relax, let the shoulders drop. As you simply allow that simplicity to relax the mind, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals will make you breathe into these lower lobes of lungs, the fish gills, 3D style, these lower lobes of lungs, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep, in through the nose, and exhale through pursed lips. That exhale through pursed lips works like a cough or a sneeze, <coughs> helps you gather in, zip up, and scoop out your abdominals without even trying, or trying not to try, but we're still gonna do that consciously, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, breathe in through the nose, follow the journey all the way in, and exhale through pursed lips, okay, for as long as you like. Lovely. Now, as you are doing that, that's gonna help us use the pelvic floor, the corset muscle, the powerhouse, the girdler strength, the transverse abdominus in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, helping us breathe low and deep into these lower lobes of the lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Okay, so as you do that, you'll feel that happening, adding width to the lungs, and length to that out breath, that lovely free expansive breath. Just come in organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Lovely. 
Is this someone sort of opening an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go? Or someone just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go? That lovely, free, expansive breath. Keep breathing to that accordion, the lungs. Okay, lovely. So that's the sort of Pilates breathing. Okay, we have the transverse abdominis, the corset muscle. And also help extension force up through the lumbar thrusher fascia, the back of the corset muscle here. But again, that helps just support our back basically. So you have to know all that. Just zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. Now we go a little bit down more the yogic path as we close the mouth. Go in through the nose and out through the nose now in the same detail of zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, thinking tiny waist, breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Because that's a smaller filter through the nose, that's gonna help us lengthen the breath even longer. Okay, and that's more of a sort of yogic type breath to start off with. Okay, we might add on more to that in a minute, but you're naturally, as you do that right now, you are actually as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, you'll feel the out breath want to fall longer than the in breath. Okay, just allow that to happen. Okay, just simply allow that to happen. Okay, and as you do that, just simply take your mind to that out breath. Okay, and rather than the breath breathe you, you're going to breathe the breath and elongate that out breath long. Okay, within your limits. Nothing, don't force anything. Just extend the out breath longer than the in breath. Quadruple it, double it, triple it within your limits without forcing anything. Whatever you like, just make it longer than the in breath. Again, give it a little bit longer or a lot longer. Everyone's breath will be different. And just be within the breath, that elongated out breath. As you extend that, simply once more, allow that simplicity to relax the mind as you simply zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals and keep on extending the out breath longer than the in breath. Again, as you do that, you'll feel all the parasympathetic nervous system responses and benefits be benefited in a more efficient manner by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. So basically, as you do that now, in breath's conscious thought out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, we're just encouraging sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation to be benefited by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. Just encouraging them restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort. Lovely. So you can stick with that as we just simply link this basic move at the moment before we go into the further, more far out movements within the form, you can just simply calibrate and synchronize this breath to motion, okay? Uh, before we do that, if you wanna take it on further, you can do to more advanced yogic breath. So the yogic breath is Ujjayi breath, optional to you, okay? Totally optional to you. Okay, if you can't get that, just carry on doing what you're doing, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, breathing it out through the nose, okay, and extending the out breath longer than the in breath. In a sort of hypnotic manner, we're extending the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay, so if you want to take it on further, then right now zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. If you can't get it, don't worry, just keep on breathing as you are with us. You're gonna grip at your esophagus, make that smaller, narrow that area and you're going to make a sign whistling silky breath so it sounds like this anyways this demonstrates you can hear so you're breathing in and you're exhaling i'm going to do that one more time it's a Again, sort of like Darth Vader breath in a way, soft, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath, victorious breath from the back of the throat, victorious breath in Sanskrit. Again, as you keep on zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, 
If you're getting that, don't worry, just carry on breathing with when I talk. Otherwise, if you can get that grip of the esophagus, get that Ujjayi breath. You'll get that soft, silky, whistling Ujjayi breath, that sound from the back of the throat, that sort of raspy sound from the back of the throat. Okay, and that will help you lengthen the breath even longer, help you stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. Help you build the heat in the body and help you fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. That Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. And as you're doing that right now, you'll find that that will give the mind something to focus on within the breath. Okay, even if you can't get that, be aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, as it weaves that tapestry of relaxation in every single organ, cell, sinew of the body. Breathing through the nose. And exhaling. For as long as you like. And again, that Ujjayi breath, that raspy, silky sound from the back of the throat, will give the mind something to focus on in a natural focusing breath manner. Again, just like them fine micro, them sort of fine micro skills you might use, them fine motor moves to sort of thread a needle or you know something for concentration to really focus on. You'll sometimes make that sigh. That's you're not quite as overemphasized as that, but you'll naturally do that. So it's a natural focusing breath, Ujjayi breath, seashore breath it's called. Again, with that natural ebb and flow, you'll find, as you do this right now, your breath will be longer by filtering that breath even more through that esophagus muscle. That soft, silky breath will go longer, okay, even longer. So again, especially that out breath will be extended even longer. Okay, so just go with that. And it'll help you lengthen the breath even longer, especially that out breath, Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Okay, if you can't get that, don't worry. We're going to just link that to motion in a vinyasa way, breath synchronized motion. Now again, as with all of them, it's just, a, I mean, this one's a simple one before they go a little bit more far out with the names and the moves. This is just a simple one, like some Qigong ones, opening up the chest, hands are just moving like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed. So if you've got a big accordion, shoulders down, Remember, 90% of us are overactive in these upper traps, so we don't encourage this. We keep the shoulders down, hands are moving like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed to the sides and back. Okay, and again, as you do that now, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take the navels towards the spine, and you're going to simply breathe in and exhale. Now, I would literally. Exhale out on the stretch part. Make that slightly more yogic here. Again, you could play around with all these moves. Remember, it's just movement. But again, you're just coming out and back. I would exhale. I would breathe in, come out. Sorry, I would, I would actually exhale coming out because you're getting a slight stretch on the chest. So that exhale helps the myotic reflex within the muscles. In a more efficient manner, you can just stretch the muscle spindles and open out the chest. And a sort of yawning type stretch. Again, a yawn is good for us. Like that first yawn in the morning. Again, nice simple one. Again, really elongate the out breath on this part. If you're coming out for that stretch, that's why you want it longer. If you get there before the breath, just carry on stretching. If you want the arms out wider, you can do. Again, but I just did it there. Shoulders come up, keep them shoulders down in towards the back. You want to go deeper, you can go deeper, but again, I would use the Iyengar Yoga principles. If you're going deeper, no lower than knees and lima toes. Okay, you want to go deeper, tailbone deep, but no lower than your knees and lima toes. It can be a centimeter, a millimeter, or a foot. How deep you go on that squat. As of all Qigong exercises, you can bring in that squat, or any body system you can do. Make these unique to you. With speed and tempo, how low, or deeply go into them, or just go with a basic meditative movement. Remember, it's just motion. Lovely. So we've got paint and rainbow next, the third of the 18 form Qigong sequence, or the 11th of the 18, the two together. Bang. <laughs> 